Alright guys, today I have a unique video for you. Um, I've been working with code.org here, and uh, I'm teaching it to my class, and a lot of people seem to be having trouble with some of these lessons that are before lesson 20. Um, I think a big issue with that, or a big part of that, is that the kids are struggling trying to use these different loops, and then after lesson 20 you start using functions, which makes a lot of things a lot easier. So I'm looking here at lesson 18, problem number 7. This is one that I've got a lot of questions about. You have to get this little girl to harvest all the corn here and then harvest the pumpkin at the very end. And it's really not that hard. Uh, you just have to think logically. So you have to think, what does this girl need to do? And I think these corn stalks do change places occasionally. I don't remember if, that's, if that happens in this problem or in another one. But you've got to think, the girl, she's got to move forward, right? And she's got to pick corn, right? And then at the very end, she's got to pick a pumpkin. But one thing you'll notice is that you only have eight blocks to work with here. And that can make it very, very difficult. Or it can make it very, very easy. So you'll notice this loop here, this repeat until there are pumpkins. That means that whatever is inside of this loop will be done over and over and over again until the girl is standing on a block that contains a pumpkin. And then this while there is corn do, it means that whatever is inside of this block will be done while there is corn. Same for this while path ahead. While there's a path in front of her, she's going to do whatever's inside that loop. So let's go ahead and put this while there is corn inside of this while path ahead. So now we have repeat until there are pumpkins, so she's going to do all of this until she gets to the pumpkin, while path ahead, so she's going to do whatever's in here until there's no longer corn. So what we'll do for the while path ahead, or uh, while there is corn, we'll just say pick corn. And then while path ahead, we will say move forward. So now we have, if she's on a block that contains corn, she's going to pick corn until there isn't any anymore. If there's no corn, it logically just moves to the next line of code, which is then move forward. So while path ahead, pick corn if there is corn, and then if there's not, it's going to move forward. You could do something similar with this if else, but it's actually easier to just go ahead and do this loop because she'll keep picking corn as long as there is corn, and then she'll just move forward when there no longer is corn. But you'll notice once she gets over to here, I'll go ahead and run this code actually, if it will run. Um, you'll notice that while it probably won't run actually because... Uh, she's going to keep repeating this until there's pumpkins, and that will make an infinite loop, so she'll keep moving forward, moving forward, moving forward, and we don't want that. But once she gets to here, she has no place left to go because there's no path ahead. And you'll see there is an if path to the left. You can mess with that if you want, but an easier thing to do is just take this turn left outside because she's going to make a left turn every single time. And so we have now repeat until there are pumpkins while path ahead, if there's corn, pick corn, so she'll do that, and if there's not, she's going to move forward. Once she runs out of space, she's going to turn left. And then, the last thing we need to do, of course, is pick the pumpkin. And look at that, we've only used eight out of our eight blocks. And so we hit run, and now it's executing the code. See, she turns left, because once there's no more space in front of her, all she can do is turn left. And then the loop repeats itself again because it's within the repeat until there are pumpkins loop. And it just keeps doing this over and over and over again. I don't even know how many times it does it actually, which is why we don't want to use a repeat this number of times loop. It doesn't even give you the option. But that's it right there. Just wrote seven lines of code because the when run counts as one of your lines. And this is the solution. It's really, really easy to do. You just have to think logically what your character on screen needs to do, and then arrange your code in such a way that when it runs out, when there's no longer a path ahead, we have it turn left. When there's no longer corn, we say move forward. And when she gets to the pumpkin, she picks the pumpkin, and that's the end. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to see more videos like this and other videos.